Hey guys, this is Joe. Today I want to introduce you to our partner Vanta. Achieving ISO 27001 or SOC 2 compliance can unlock major growth for your company and build customer trust, but the process can be time intense and costly. Vanta automates compliance, getting your audit ready quickly and saving up to 85% of associated costs. And Vanta scales with your business, helping you enter new markets. Join 7,000 global companies like Atlassian, Flow Health, and Quora that trust Vanta. Claim 20% off Vanta at vanta.com forward slash startup radio that's vanta.com spelled v-a-n-t-a dot com forward slash startup radio Unium is the subscription management hub for B2B SaaS companies whether you're looking to expand to new markets experimenting with pricing models or simply want a streamlined quote to cash process Unium got your back on top of that Union Insights provides the SaaS metrics you need for reporting to the board and for future company evaluation. It gives you the key figures needed to drive your business forward and take strategic decisions. Union, we help SaaS companies manage their B2B customer subscriptions. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Joe from StartupRate.io, your startup podcast and YouTube blog from the German speaking area, bringing you again here another winner of the German Startup Awards. This award was won by a legal entity called Unternehmertum. But since it's very hard to interview a legal entity, I do have its CEO and COO, Stefan, here with me. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you, Joe, for the invitation. It's great to be here. Totally my pleasure. First up, congratulations for winning the special award of the German Startup Awards 2022. And we may say that Unternehmertum is kind of a wordplay. This T-U-M also means, also, so and Unternehmertum means entrepreneurship in German. And this T-U-M is spelled in capital letters, which could also mean Technical University Munich, Technische Universität München, um, which by coincidence is the university you're attached to. Exactly, exactly. And that's actually the, the reason I am here at Unternehmertum was because I studied at the Technical University. Um, and so actually I became a huge fan of uh, Unternehmertum that time because when I studied at Tum, I studied something called technology and management. So I had business administration classes and also um, um, classes in technology that was in, in Weinstefan in the area of food tech, life and food sciences. And I also took classes in entrepreneurship. There was a, a new institution, Unternehmertum at that time, and they offered a business plan seminar. And actually, that was the coolest thing I did, to be honest, because it was interdisciplinary. So I didn't study only with, let's say, the people from my study program, right? But from all the other study programs at the Technical University. So it was very diverse. And it was not like a lecture where somebody tries to tell you something and tries to explain you how to do something and you take notes, right? But, but it's, it was, we, we did something. So you come up with an idea and you, you form a team and then you write a business plan. And by doing that project, you actually learn a lot. Totally. I, I really hope that none of you former professors is listening right now, uh, except for the tax professors. They know they're not the number one uh, sought after destination. Nonetheless, I also took a look into the, um, an analysis by our uh, friends, startupheapmap.eu. They have an analysis they shared with me. And actually, Munich is within Europe in the top five for um, growing, educating, training their own entrepreneur um, uh, talent. And you're only behind Paris, 
Uh, first is London, Paris, Barcelona, Madrid, and then there is you. So that already means a lot. And actually, we have um, another winner of the German Startup Awards, the founder of Flix, Flixbus, which also was um, got investment from Unternehmer too. But before we get into all of that, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Um, I... I looked at your profile in LinkedIn and I want to talk a little bit about you and what you did. Um, you graduated, as you already said, from Technical University München. Um, and you worked for BCG for quite some time, right? Yes, I did. Yes. So that was basically a, a classical path, right? So I studied technology and management. So you had some experience in business and, uh, but also in an engineering subject. Um, and at that time, graduates often, they, they wanted to go to uh, large and successful corporates, companies like BMW or like to consulting. Um, and I took the path of consulting. So I entered uh, BCG. I worked, uh, worked there for, for, for quite some years. I did a lot of consulting for, for banks, for federal banks. Um, They, after the financial crisis, they were in real trouble. So uh, we helped them, restructured them. Um, but in the end, it was, I mean, it was, it was amazing. And I don't want to miss that time, but it was less creating new. Uh, it was less about innovation and really trying to, to create something new. And this is when, when I was in contact with Helmut. Helmut is actually, he's this, I'm the, the chief operating officer. Helmut is the CEO and founder of Unternehmertum. Um, so he gave me a call and he asked if I want to join. And since I know Unternehmertum for quite some time, I couldn't resist. Mm -hmm. I see, because I was always wondering how did this transition actually happen? Because uh, you didn't get one day back in your hotel room and said, hmm. Let's do something different. Let's join Unternehmer too, because then usually the decision is go to corporate job, set up your own company or something like this, but not joining an, how is the legal term, an attached institute to a university. I think that is something like 0.1% would consider doing out of consulting. Um, and you joined first as chief operating officer position you ha you're holding until today. Exactly. I'm still chief operating officer and I'm uh, one of the managing directors. We are a team of managing directors and at Unternehmertum, I basically have two jobs. So one, I'm responsible for some of our programs. Unternehmertum has about 20 programs, 20 independent running programs with their own brands. And I'm responsible um, for programs where we educate and help talent. So for example, students from the technical university to come up with a, with an idea, to get inspired of entrepreneurship, to try out how, what it means to found a company. Very often that's um, part of their regular study. So they get credit points for that. So it, it's an integral part um, of their studies. And then um, I'm also responsible for a program because then Some of these, they say, okay, I, I, I want to find out. Now I'm studying at the technical university and the technical university has a strategy to be the entrepreneurial university. So they say, I want to find out if I want to be an entrepreneur in my life. So I want to start a project. So do I have the right team? What do I need? How do I finance this, uh, the startup at the beginning? Okay. I'm a, maybe a scientist, a researcher. How can I evaluate if this is an idea that I can use for starting my own company? Okay. So this is like a pre incubation phase. And then you have people that say, okay, now I decided to become a founder. So they say, okay, thank you, large corporate, or thank you. Any company that I applied for, they gave me an offer, but I declined because I'm a founder now. I, I decided to be to be an entrepreneur. So and we incubate and accelerate them in a um, dedicated three month program, for example, or expreneurs incubation program. And then um, they also need finance. So we as entrepreneurs, we try to help founders at all stages. So for example, we have a, a, a program where we um, fund early stage startups, for example, with 100,000 euros in a, in a convertible note. And this is one part of, of, of my work. 
And then I'm also the chief operating officer of this organization. So as I mentioned, there are 20 teams, okay, with different business models. How can we stay one company? How can we ensure team cohesion? So for example, how can we uh, uh, do internal communication? How can we organize ourselves? So these are also amazing topics that I'm, I'm responsible for. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Um, of course, all the programs, I'm just scrolling through them as we're talking is something pretty interesting and of course we'll link it down here in the show notes below so everybody can click on it so that means uh usually you are more or less offering classes in entrepreneurship but when they're basically hooked on entrepreneurship you also help the students to basically start out with the company, as you said, for example, with a, with some start capital. Um, I would be curious, um, do you have a few um, successful examples that worked with you in the past? Exactly. So, um, so you have to imagine it's like a, of course, it's like a funnel, right? So you start with enabling young talents, but then it's also very open to startups that are later stage. So for example, our Xpreneurs program, you can, any startup can apply for the Xpreneurs program and the team picks what they say is the best and most interesting and promising startup in that, in that stage. And around all that, okay, you must imagine Unternehmertum as an ecosystem because it's not about just, okay, being in a program or listening to a class or being uh, there at these three months, in these three months. Unternehmertum works also with corporates, with Mittelstand, um, has a network of investors. So it's all about this being part of this ecosystem, bringing the right people together mm -hmm. and supporting innovation. And so, for example, Celones might be one example. Some people have heard of that's the most valuable German startup or What is also an interesting uh, startup is ESA Aerospace. They build small rocket launchers. So it's, it's one of the high hopes startups for European, um, um, uh, European space market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Flixbus, for example. So Unternehmer to Venture Capital Partners, for example, is invested. They invested at a very early stage into Flixbus. And now it's a, it's a huge, um, A, a huge successful innovative organization that also entered the the uh, u.s market by the acquisition of greyhound for example so yep. it's, i mean an amazing story yeah lilium the the flying caps the flying taxis right yeah i see that there, there, there are a lot of very interesting um things out there so um Could you also, as a non-student of uh, TUM, could you also join Unternehmertum? Yes, so you can you can join on that. So our let's say mother is the Technical University of Munich, but we are actually not part of the Technical University. As you said, we are an uninstitute, so an affiliated institute. So we are very independent, and we want to actually attract also great startups, great entrepreneurs from, from anywhere around the world to join our ecosystem so we can increase the quality of this ecosystem, of course. And when somebody joins you, um, can we go through, for example, the first program and how you could help them develop to eventually become a successful startup entrepreneur? There are so many different journeys. So one journey could be you are a, an amazing student at the technical university you could apply for a program called manage and more it's a scholarship program where a very small group is being elected and you are doing projects and you you learn you de you, you develop yourself as a as a person um, in a very intensive program about its work of about 20 hours per week, which goes on top to your regular study. So you mm -hmm. can only do that if you're well organized, very motivated for the duration of one and a half years. And many of these amazing talents then become later successful founders or not, or they join a company yeah? or do something differently or become very successful researchers. That's all very great and all very amazing. And so let me, let me, let me mention one more thing because you asked about the startups and about the, what are examples for startups. Mm -hmm. So our focus is deep tech startups. 
very often it's B2B. I mean, it's not so surprising because we are connected to the technical university. So some people have not heard about many of these startups because they are successful uh, B2B stars. One example, I mean, I, 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 as you can see this glove behind me, mm -hmm. okay, that's, that's a startup called ProGraph. So what you can, what, the, what you can do is you can scan parts in the supply chain. And what you do, you don't need to use, you know, a scanning pistol, but you have the scanner already connected to your glove. And by doing so, you save a lot of time. So basically they are working with all the large corporations who have a supply chain and where every second in the supply chain counts. And I guess not many people have heard of ProGlove, but everybody working in a supply chain in a corporate has. Um, actually, we interviewed them back in 2018 when we've been in New York. Um, we interviewed them on top of the building where the German accelerator is located with one more trade center in the background, which was pretty nice. And for everybody who's interested, go down here in the show notes. There's a link to our Medium blog, and there you'll also find the link to the Pro Glove interview from dating back, I think, yeah, four years. Crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I think, Joe, that's what it also these kind of startups. It takes a lot of time and patience. Because if you found a deep tech startup, mm -hmm. it takes, lo uh, it takes uh, a longer time than founding, let's say, a scalable online platform or an app or something. So sometimes you need to be very patient. It's a little bit more difficult for investors to decide in investing into a deep tech startup because you really need the know-how and the expertise to do so. But actually, that that's what I, I would say this ecosystem is all about. And that's a core strength of Germany and Munich to have this engineering deep tech capabilities. And now I think our mission is to transform all this capability into successful startups. Mm -hmm. As you said, it's, it's, um, a location of deep tech. There are many, uh, famous, um, companies uh, down there in Munich that actually work uh, pretty deep in tech. For example, many people may have heard of Siemens. Uh, BMW is also headquartered there. So there are just a few examples. I do believe a lot of uh, foreign tech companies also headquartered in Munich for their German or um, international headquarter. Yes, like Google, Microsoft, Salesforce. So they are all coming to Munich. So it's an amazing time right now. So many tech companies just came to Munich. There is a strong basis of already established companies. There is the German Mittelstand, SMEs around that, amazing talents of the Technical University, but also the University of Munich, the U University of Applied Sciences. So a very strong basis. And that now transforms into a very, let's say, dedicated and serious and I would say sustainable kind of startup creation. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty promising. Uh, what, what is, what is on the horizon for you? What are the next plans for Unternehmertum? Concord World? <laughs> Basically, we want to, we want to find partners that share our mission. We can't conquer the world, but you know, when we, when we, when we talk to, to startups, I mean, what I learned actually in the business plan seminar 20 years ago, they said, you know, when you, when you found a startup, do it in a team. Because nobody's perfect, but a team can be. Mm -hmm. This is actually what we think we have in Europe. We have other very strong entrepreneurship centers and strong tech ecosystems. And now the question is, can we, or actually our, what, what we want to do is join forces, combine our strength and to support the next European unicorns and the next European tech startups and the next European, um, Uh, companies, because that's what that's what we need. If if we want to have European successful European uh, companies in the future, we need to start helping them and creating them right now. Well, I would say that are amazing closing words for everybody who'd like to learn more. Down here in the show notes, of course, there's a link to Unternehmertum, to the Pro Glove and Flix interview as well. And I would like to say. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to you and best of luck. And of course, again, congratulations for the German Startup Award. Thanks. That goes to the team. Thank you so much for the invitation show. It was a great pleasure. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring. When you're an entrepreneur with a great idea, it can be daunting to find funding. Startup Raven takes the process out of your hands by helping entrepreneurs connect and learn about potential investors all in one place, without any long-filled forms or thousand questions. Sign up for early access at StartupRaven.com.